Hey guys, PC Kitty here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your BIOS name in VirtualBox. By this, I mean if a scammer was to get into your computer or your VM, they would open up MS Info 32 in the run box. After they open this up, they see all your information and then they can see here that you are using a virtual machine. Not every scammer does this, but you might as well be prepared. If you do see, if you want to fix this, what you will need to do is close out VirtualBox completely. Including this. And now you want to navigate to this PC and go to your hard drive. Wherever you now you want to go to where you install the virtual box. For me, it's in program files, Oracle, and then virtual box. Now here, you want to copy this top file, you want to copy it. Now, you want to open up a command prompt window. I don't think you have to do it as administrator, so I'm just going to do it here. And now you've got a command prompt window open, you want to type cd and then just paste in the location. And now any command you will type will be in this directory here. So now, in the description, I'm going to have some commands, which will obviously you have to paste in. Now, remember what you name the VM. I name my vid space VM. So, I'm gonna make it. So, if I do paste this in. So, if I paste in the thing. God, I can't copy it. So now, the commands in the description, when you paste them in, here it says vidvm here, you would want to change it to whatever your VM name is. Also known as vidvm. Now, at the end here, it will say Phoenix. This will be the BIOS vendor, so it will be renamed Phoenix. You can name it whatever you want. For example, I'm going to name this test12346. You just press enter, and nothing will happen, but trust me, something has happened. And now, you just want to get the second command, and just do the same thing. So this one says Windows 7, so I'm going to change that to VidVM. And then you can change this here to whatever you want. Let's do 420 is cool. Let's see if that will work. Yeah, that is a correct version name. So now we're going to keep doing it for all of these. So I'm going to skip to when I've done that. Okay, so now we've changed all of these, we're going to open up our VM again, and then we can see if it has worked or not. So let's have a look. If we open up the virtual machine. Obviously, 20 years later. So 
So now we've booted into Windows, we're going to open up MS Info 32 again and see that the we see that the information for this computer has changed. As you can see here, the system monitor, the mod the model of this computer is the banister. And the manufacturer is YouTube motherboard services, not a scam. This is the awesome BIOS version slash date test one two three four five six and stuff. Obviously. And that is that. This is how to change your virtual machine manufacturer model system 32 information so scammers can't see that you're actually using a virtual machine. But they can easily do anything else like click here and see virtual box editions if you haven't disabled that or just go in like device. I have no idea I've not no idea what the command for device manager is so and then they just go into device manager and they just go to your hard drive and stuff and they see it there because I haven't uh... where is it? if you go into disk file it says the box hard disk ATA device if you want to change this have a look on Jim Browning's YouTube channel to have a look on how to change the hard drive and stuff in Regedit. Um. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Goodbye.